Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to the Monster Island Room. Plenty of new updates in this room, but what is more exciting is that we have lots of cool stuff today to unbox and to review, okay? Check this out. We have new figures, new minifigures, playset right here, better arena playset. We will also be opening this Jurassic Park minifigures. You know, it is actually known as a figurel backclip. So we'll be opening them and then displaying them in this little new plastic case. At the same time, check this out. Our new basement Dino Dungeon shelf is like 50% ready, okay? I've basically placed in my repainted dinosaurs right at the top and our Amber collection and um, you know, Hammond collection figures right here. So I'm very excited about today's video. So let's get started. Okay, before we get started, I am going over to Level 2 Jurassic World Midlands to pick up all our minifigures as well as our minifigures playset. So let's go. Follow me guys, let's go. Alright, let's go. Alright guys, welcome back to Level 2 Jurassic World Midlands. Check this out. The entire shelf right here is cleared, okay, because it used to be, um, you know, the repainted dinosaurs. So right now what we are going to do is basically to clear this entire section as well because we have I'm gonna show you guys like you know all the different mini places so let's clear this Right guys you can see the shelves are empty because we have placed all the mini sets inside this box and it's now time for us to head over to the mini shelves let's pick up some of these mini figures to create like a nice you know environment for the um mini play sets let's go okay guys check this out so these two rows are entirely empty right now because i have placed all of them inside this little box so let's head back to the basement Dano dungeon all right guys welcome back to the beautiful basement Dano dungeon we are ready to start okay so let's begin by opening some of these back clips okay so let's do this Okay guys, so let's begin, okay? Let's begin by opening some of this, um, you know, Jurassic Park back clip. So you can see there are actually quite a number of species that, you know, we can actually get. We have um, John Hammond right there, as well as the Ambro with Mosquito. So let's open this up. I'm gonna take my pair of um, trusty unboxing stickers. Stickers? Scissors! <laughs> I beg your pardon, let's cut the bottom of the pack Alright, let's see what we've got Oh, we've got another human figure Ah, oh, I want a dinosaur, come on Oh uh, man, this is Alan Grant Oh nice I think this is a rare figure guys Exclusive figures, oh my goodness I think we've got um, you know, a rare one which is awesome so you can see this is basically like a little clip that you can um, clip onto your back which I think it's quite a beautiful figure Does it come with any leaflet? No it doesn't, it just comes with um, you know like a clean cardboard So I think that's fine, so we have a beautiful Alan Grant figure which is a exclusive, which is an ex exclusive figure It can stand, so what we are going to do is that I'm going to open this little display case and I'm just gonna pop the figure in, okay? It's a bit too tall for this display case, but we can put it like slanted so it actually is, it can still stand. Okay, let's open up another one. Let's um, have a look at this. Hopefully, we are able to get a T Rex. I think that will be nice. Okay, just made a little cut right here so that I can just tear it open easily. Oh, cool! We've got a Dilophosaurus, guys! Awesome, I think is this like one of the um, rare ones? I don't think so. So there is an exclusive A as well as exclusive B. Yeah, so we've got um the Lophosaurus, which I think it's um a common figure. You can see there's quite nice details on this little figure, and the face looks kind of um cute and ferocious at the same time. Very, very cool. It's definitely a figure that can't stand, so you definitely have to like clip it onto um something. But apparently we don't have a clip but we may be able to get some clips 
mount the clips onto a wall and have the back clip hanging onto those clips. I think that might be um, a possibility. Okay, next up, let's have a look at this. So I've actually got one of this pocket pop keychain. So this one looks really good as well. So let's try to open this up. Okay, it's a Therizinosaurus. Too bad I wasn't able to find like a Giga. Otherwise, I would definitely purchase it. Because right now, my favorite dinosaur, I mean, one of my most favorite dinosaurs has to be the Giganotosaurus, okay? What about you guys? Let me know down below. So this is basically um, a Therizinosaurus mini Funko Pop figure. Very, very cute. Let me show you guys the um, bigger one, okay? All right, guys, check this out. So this is basically the big Therizinosaurus figure from um, Funko Pop. It's quite a beautiful one. As you guys can see, the colors are just really nice. And the small one is basically like the same, you know, color application. So they look kind of like similar. Very cool. So very happy to have got this um, little clip right here. So we can probably display this in um, this mini display case as well. Just pop it right in. It looks pretty good to be honest. All right, let's open up another one. Hopefully we are able to get a T-Rex. Okay, and of course, speaking of T-Rex, we've actually got uh, one of this. This is also from Funko, if I'm not wrong. Uh, no, apparently not, but you can see the kind of design is kind of like similar to this. So let's open this up. Hopefully we are able to get a T-Rex or maybe the exclusive B. I think that will be cool. Yep. I want to get this exclusive B. The Brachiosaurus is also very nice. Just hope that we don't get a repeat. Okay, so let's tr try this. Okay, oh, I think we've got a T-Rex, guys. I felt the hit and it feels like a T-Rex. Yes, yes, awesome. This is really, really awesome. So we've got a T-Rex. This is fantastic. Really, really fantastic. Right, check this out. The Tyrannosaurus Rex, I think it's kind of cool because it has some patterns on his body, some stripes. You can see it's um, pretty well detailed, I would say. And, you know, there's some detailing right here. The entire figure feels kind of um, soft. Okay, not exactly very soft, it's like very firm rubber. So this is very cool, I like it. So let's try to pop this into um, this display case as well. It's kind of hard for me to pop it in. So let's try. Yeah, it's quite a huge figure, so I don't think this figure is able to stand. So you can see. So I, I need to try. Of, I need to try to find a way to um, actually display. You can see it's actually kind of like unstable. Yeah, we definitely need to like hang them somewhere for sure. I'll need to try to find some some clips, some area for us to hang this little um um back clips. Okay, the last one right here. Okay, so let's pop this open. Pop this open. Okay, let's have a look. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm disappointed because we've got the same one. This is a really, really kind of like, you know, frustrating. Yep, it's exactly the same. So we've got two Dilophosaurus, but I think it's fine. You know, we only have one repeat, which is okay. Next up, we still have two very, very cool figures to open up later on. This is actually a magnet. Check it out, guys. So we can basically stick this onto our fridge or, you know, possibly some other uh, metal surfaces. And this is like a mini Godzilla figure keychain. I think it looks really nice. I may just, you know, keep this Godzilla keychain in its box. Probably similarly to the um, Therizinosaurus one as well yeah probably okay i think now it's time for us to take a look at the most exciting oops did you guys see that <laughs> the most exciting battle arena playset right here okay so wow i think it comes with an exclusive sukumimers if i'm not wrong i don't think we have this sukumimers um this the rest we, we have the baryonyx i'm not too sure we may not have this baryonyx so let's open this up and have a look. All right, guys, we are going to open up this battle arena playset. And guess what? Just like two minutes ago, you know, I just received a package from PNSO. So we are going to do an unboxing like really soon. 
probably like next week I'm super excited okay so yeah I'm super happy so because uh, I mean yeah I'm just very happy right now so let's open this up I'm gonna take my box cutter I mean if you are a kid please be careful uh, I mean don't use a box cutter on your own have your parents to help you okay don't open you know I'm very careless when it comes to using a box cutter so I need you to be really careful as well but of course if you are a collector and a dog collector like me just be careful as well so let's have a look at this so wow okay a dog assembly is required so I guess I need the help of an adult I mean I'm just kidding I'm an I'm an adult <laughs> minis better we now play set 4 plus Jurassic World Dominion you flip it over let's have a look at this launch destroy and win okay i think we are able to connect this better arena to other places okay connect and expand so yeah let's get this out of the box so it comes with a couple of um wow it looks complicated guys okay i think this looks very complicated we get to, we need to get all the parts out first and then we have to like you know connect it Hopefully, we are able to display this in our shelf. I think if we are able to, that will be cool. Okay, let's get this one out as well. What is this? Cardboard. We don't need this. I think this is like the um wow instructions and stuff like that. And there's a, like a little box right here, which I think we have to open from this side. Okay, so let's cut this open as well. Be extra careful when you're opening this. Here's another tape right here. Another one. So let's see whether we are able to reach this little box. Okay, this little box is actually stuck right here. So we need to tear this open as well. Okay, so now it's out as you guys can see. So I have a feeling that this Baryonyx is a new color scheme. I'm not exactly sure. I don't think we have this Parasaurolophus as well. Uh, we definitely have Ghost and um, Young Chernosaurus. For this Sucomimers, I'm not exactly sure. So we need to refer to our, you know, our set of mini dinos right here. Okay, so let me just rearrange this, pre-assemble them and let's do it together. Hey guys, check this out, okay? So this is basically the new Sukumimers. I have found the older one, which is right here, which is in, a, in the colors of green and brown. For the Baryonyx, as you guys can see, this is a brand new green Baryonyx. I don't think we have the green one in our collection. I'm not too sure, maybe it's inside. But you can see, there are two Baryonyx that we already have so far, which is like, you know, the cream and the blue color right here, okay? So, yep, very cool. Let's assemble this set right now. So, let's assemble it um, step by step so that you guys can actually have a look as well. So, let's just pop in this portion right here and then the other connector, okay? So, this is the first step. So, second step, we need to insert this, you know, platform onto, you know, this little base right here. So, this is actually a very nice Jurassic World you know, stage. So let's insert this. Not too sure how we can actually do this, but let's try. Okay. I think you have to do it like this. You can push it open. Just pop it right in. Easily done. So that's the second step, okay? And the third step is basically to connect, you know, this portion right here. Just push it right in. Looking really, really nice. And the next step is basically for us to pop in this little battle stitch. I think these two are like the puffs. So we can just pop it right in. I think both are the same. So there is like a need for you to find out, you know, which one is for which. Because both are exactly the same. Just pop it right in. Very nice. Okay. Okay, the fifth step is basically for us to push all this little, what do you call this? Little staircases up onto the base like this to hold this little um, pebble stone base in place very nice okay the sixth step is basically for us to assemble all these little nice artifacts all these nice buildings onto this um, battle arena 
So the first one seems to be like a little, I'm not too sure, it looks like a little cage right here. So let's just pop it right in over here. Okay, looking good. So the other one is basically like a little door. It looks like a little store. So we can just pop this right in as well. Over here. Okay, it's kind of tough. So you definitely need adult assistant. The next one is basically like a little, um, there's a little, you know, ladder right here, a little door here. And just close it and let's attach it to this little um, stone pebble-like kind of um, staircase. Very cool. Okay, next we have like a pillar. It's like an entrance um, to the battle arena as well. Okay, not really an entrance. It's basically some, you know, architecture. I have no idea how to even describe them. So let's just pop it right in. Okay, very nice. I think it's looking really really good at the moment you can see like you know the Jurassic World logo right here and this part is actually able to rotate so let's see well it looks so fun for sure so let's figure out how to use this okay so I finally get how this work okay so basically we are going to use a launcher we're gonna find like a dinosaur place it onto this launching pad right here and attach it to the launcher okay Okay, so you're gonna put this launcher right here on the base. You know, there's a, like, a super nice space. And you need to aim to destroy um, the buildings, okay? You have to destroy the um, buildings, these two buildings first. So you have to like aim these two buildings. And then you launch it, you press it. Okay, this doesn't work because the I think the dinosaur is like kind of like heavy. So let's try this again. Yep, maybe it will work better if, you know, let's just try without the dinosaur, okay? Let's try. Yep, so you have to knock one down first. After that, you aim for the other one, knock it down. And after that, you can actually knock down this entire base. So check this out. So it's not easy to hit here. So once you hit here, this thing will open up and you will be the winner so it's kind of fun okay so let's let's try this let's try to um, have two dinosaurs fighting against each other okay guys so let's try this i think first each dinosaur will have to aim the buildings around um you know the opposition so you know the sukumai is going to try to aim for this and the baryonyx is going to try to, to aim for this okay so let's try this try to knock it down right now to push it right in first wow this is hard why is it like not going in? Let's try. Okay, let's press it really hard. Yep, we knocked the first one down. So now it's time for Suko Mimus to knock this little well down, I think. I think it's a well, I'm not too sure. Let's try this. Nope, it didn't work. I think this blue one is like kind of like um, really loose. So let's try pressing harder. Yeah, we got it down. Okay. So we're gonna try um, to knock down the other one as well. So let's try this. Let's try to knock this one down. Let's try. One, two, three. <laughs> oh my goodness, it didn't work. So you have to press it like one, once more. Let's try this again. One, two, three. Yeah, it didn't work. So it's time for Suko Mimers. It's time for Suko Mimers to try to knock it down. It's not easy to attach it, so you have to try it, try it again. So let's try this. One, two, three. Wow, that was a good one. That's a really, really good one. So I think maybe this time Suko Mimers will stand a chance to knock down the base of, um, you know, Baryonyx. So you can put Baryonyx right here. Okay. Uh, I have to attach it to... Um, this launch pad again so let's try to you have to hit this little button right here i don't think it is easy it's gonna be really really tough i i think but let's try yeah there's no way you can hit this i feel okay let's try this again maybe you need like a you know more a heavier dinosaur to bring the disc down to hit this area so it's not easy let's let's try this again almost i think we almost got it Let's try, let's try once more. It flew too high. It flew too high. It has to hit here so that it can actually like topple um, bearings over. 
yeah but overall i think this is quite a fun playset as as you guys can see so let's close this um maybe let's try to um join this playset with the other stuff so let's do this okay so you can see this is a new this is a set i'm not too sure whether you guys have seen this before so it's basically like a very cool set right here um you can press this little button here and the control tower will just spring right open so you can basically use this to display like a mini figures you can put like figures around it it's gonna be like really cool and really nice looking um there's a little gate right here as you guys can see you can actually connect this two sets together if you don't have the better arena i can just pop it right in like this it can be easily assembled just pop it right in sometimes it's, it's quite hard to um, assemble so there you go so you can actually connect these two sets together but of course you can also let's try you can also try connecting this battle arena with these two sets right here so it's gonna form like a very very nice like diorama set okay like this so it looks really really nice okay like this awesome stuff all right okay so basically this is the entire arena set so i think it's time for us to like place in all the different dinosaurs into um this place that shall we okay let's um take out the suko mamas so this one is definitely a new figure i think so let's place the suko mamas right here where is the other suko mamas i think this is the older one. Oh my goodness the jaw is like dislocated so i think it has to, got to be you know the battles that uh they have done right just now okay so you can put like two oh my goodness this suko mamas is not is not standing very well it keeps falling over it's fine so the Paris Roller first right here, we're gonna do like a quick comparison with this. I think they are exactly the same. Yeah, exactly the same Paris, Paris Roller first. Let's put all the Herbie Vores. Okay, I'm gonna put all the Herbie Vores on the right hand side and um, all the Connie Vores on the left. Okay, so let's do this. We also have a Baryonyx. I'm gonna put this one down so that you can you guys can have a better look. So the Suko Mimers can seem to stand very well. So here's the Baryonyx. Okay, let's get the young Chinosaurus out as well. This is basically the young Chinosaurus, which I think, you know, we already have this figure. Oh my goodness, come on guys. Why are you guys like unable to stand? <laughs> it's kind of annoying, right? Okay, let's place them on the table. Yeah, it's, it's still not able to stand as you guys can see. Okay, you just lie down, okay? The new Sukumimer is not able to stand as well. That's disappointing. Okay, let's get the new Baryonyx up. Hopefully, this one can stand. It's a very nice green colored Baryonyx. Oh, yes, this one is able to stand really well. We have a Lytrosaurus. Lytrosaurus, I'm not exactly sure whether it's a herbivore or a carnivore, but I think it should be a herbivore. So I'm going to put this one right here. Atrociraptor Ghost. We already have this figure for sure. So we're gonna put Atrociraptors um, on the platform. Okay. This is um, our other Baryonyx. So we have a box of uh, mini figures right here. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, put the box of figures next to me. So let's have a look um, at all these figures together. So we have the Stegosaurus right here. What I'm interested to find is basically the Baryonyx. Maybe we don't have the Baryonyx, okay? So this is the Young Chonosaurus, the older one that we have. Let's do a quick comparison. Oh, you can see the colors are kind of different. Am I seeing things or do you guys feel that they are actually the same figure? You can see this is like a lighter shade of brown and this is a darker shade of brown. They could be the same figure just with, you know, um, you know, color inconsistency or they could be different color variations what do you guys think are they supposed to be the same figure probably not i'm not too sure but i'm just going to display both of them i guess okay so we have two gigas right here okay so you guys may think they are the same giga but not they're actually not so you can see this one actually has a movable jaw but this one doesn't okay so they're definitely 
definitely are different figures but you can see all of them seem to have standing issues oh my goodness i you guys know how much i hate figures with standing issues okay next i'm gonna take a look at um iguanodons so these three iguanodons are definitely different in terms of the um, color scheme so very nice so let's place them right here okay and here's a t-rex the green t-rex which i think should have no problem standing triceratops right here this is a pretty cool um triceratops with no articulation i don't think any of them has any artic articulation so you can see we have i think they are the different ones okay okay they are definitely different if you take a look at this um the horns are colored but this one is not so they're definitely different triceratops let me have a closer look at the young Trinosaurus again you know to see whether we are able to find other details that can um prove um prove them to be like different figures yeah i think it's possibly just a different color of brown i'm not too sure i'm not exactly sure but it could be just color inconsistency or I'm, I'm thinking too much yeah okay let's move on um this is a um raptor we have plenty of raptors guys so you're gonna see like plenty of them this is an anatrosy raptor okay lytrosaurus i've shown you guys like the green one just now right this is basically the green one the new one and this is the um older version one of the older versions uh i think there is still another one right here so have a look at this okay these two are exactly the same so this one will go into our spare box stegosaurus right here pretty cool one. Oh my goodness i've totally forgotten about this shall we open this let's open this Anyway, we can put it right back after that. So this is basically a um, magnetic um, figure. The figure is made of rubber, as you guys can see. Very cute little Rexy figure. So you can stick this onto any metal surfaces, I guess. I mean, like iron. Is it able to stick on this lamp? Nope. I think it's able to. I'm not able to stick it on my um, table legs. Nope. What about the shelf? Nope. Nope, I can't find any surfaces for me to um, stick this onto. So we definitely need to maybe stick this onto our, um, I'm not too sure, our refrigerator, possibly. But I'm just going to pop it right back into um, this little bag, okay? Pop it right back. Wow, why is it like not fitting in right now this is weird how okay there you go yeah i think displaying it in um this packaging will actually look nicer what do you guys think i think so yep putting it right back looking great let's um proceed to have a look at all the other minifigures this is a stegosaurus so there's actually like a new series which i still you know um i'm still not able to land the new series so the new series i think there are a couple of new dinosaurs like oranosaurus which is really really nice i hope to find it really soon and um this is a therizinosaurus here's another therizinosaurus so you can see we have two different um, Therizinosaurus, this one has movable arms, this one doesn't. Okay, and another Lytrosaurus, and um, this one is actually different. So you can see this one doesn't have painted teeth, and um, the patterns are slightly in a more vibrant shade, I would say, more saturated. Let's have a look at others. This one is a relatively new figure, Concavenator. So I'm gonna put this one right here. Um, and Carlosaurus, quite an old figure, I would say. So, yeah, oh my goodness. So, there isn't any new figure from this set at all, guys. 
the Baryonyx is not new. As you guys can see, we already have this Baryonyx, which is kind of disappointing. I thought, you know, we may have a different Baryonyx. But the Sukomimers is definitely one that we don't have. I definitely do not have the Sukomimers in my collection so far, which is a good thing. So, Ceratosaurus. There should be two um, Ceratosaurus right here. And they are actually in the colors of the, um, the previous Rory Ross, the red one and also the brown one. Very, very nice. All right. Allosaurus. This one is quite a cool Allosaurus. It's basically the same color scheme as the um, Battle at Big Rock Allosaurus. We have two beautiful Gallimimers, right? Uh, one Gallimimers and one Raptor. Okay, so the Raptor, I'm just gonna put it right over here. I'm not going to bother to try to make it stand because it's really, really hot. And here is the Triceratops. Okay, so you can see the Triceratops is actually um, the non colored version, so the horns are not painted. The T Rex, a T Rex with um, no movable jaw, but this sculpt is definitely better than this. Okay, and here it's a Conotaurus. Very nice. And here it's um, blue. I'm just gonna quickly show you guys like the smaller ones because I think that many of you guys have already seen them so I'm not going into too much details okay so all these are basically the minifigures this one is probably one of the nicer ones I would say the Metrodon we have uh, the Lophosaurus right here so I would say more or less um yeah the better Uyama's playset is definitely a cool set to have um and it comes with a new Tsukumama's figure which is, a, which is not bad okay so i think we have completed this guys so yeah so what i'm gonna do now right now is that i'm gonna give you guys a tour a tour of the new um basement dino dungeon chef okay so let's do this all right check this out guys so i've basically spent the um entire afternoon or um, an evening yesterday you know reorganizing my dinosaur shelf right here so this is basically a new shelf the space is like you know plenty of empty space but of course if we get to um add on more repainted dinosaurs we can definitely you know utilize the space a bit more optimize the space a bit more so you can find that um you know we have the different repainted dinosaurs right here um this is basically in dominus rex gen 2 um this is the r giga right in the middle this is our custom painted indominus rex by Mrs. Dan, we have the Lever 40, Baryonyx, we have the um, Galaxy Indoraptor, Lever 40, Baryonyx, and this is basically um, a Velociraptor with, you know, with some leftover paint, I just painted this Velociraptor. We have the um, Scorpius Rex Gen 2, Lever 40, Sukumimers, um, that is the uh, Martin Rex, Lever 40, uh, Mosasaurus. And that's the Omega 09 um, T Rex right at the back. And this is basically our Amber collection. Okay, yeah, I think it's really hard for you guys to see. So I'm gonna open the shelf. So this is much easier for you guys. Okay. Have a look at this. Wow. Why is it like a little bit difficult to. Um, open yeah so this is basically our amber collection okay so this is basically our amber collection and here is the part where we are displaying our hammond collection figures only the human figures are you know i intend to display them in his boxes and here are basically um the other hammond collection figures this is basically a temporary place that i'm putting my um um, Chaos Effect Blue T Rex. It is a fantastic figure right here. We are going to take a look at this on Saturday. Going to reorganize our Jurassic Park um, shelf. Okay, so this is basically our new shelf, and I've placed like PNSO figures right on the top. And speaking of PNSO, they have just sent me like a box of figures to open up, which I'm so excited about. Okay, so we are going to review them probably next week or so okay so stay tuned for that okay 
let's head over to our um uh, monster island room okay so this is the monster island room i mean if this is your first time here this is basically a room where i display some of my godzilla figures um some other um figures for example like the masters of the universe so i keep them in the display boxes right here okay and um, yeah, so this is basically a set of um, uh, Masters of the Universe um, figures right here, which I'm super, I'm a, I'm a huge fan. Okay, I wouldn't say I'm a huge fan. I'm a fan of it because I don't know a lot of um, the characters inside, to be honest with you. And here are the Dino Riders. So I basically did some reorganization and this part will be basically where we'll be displaying our plush figures. Okay, I think we need to like display them in a, you know nicer way because they look kind of like messy and stuff but overall i'm pretty happy with how this display room has um turned up i feel it looks kind of neat okay and the super colossus right at, at the top we still have space for one big super colossus right here for sure uh, we can probably still squeeze in another one right at the corner if we want to probably so and um yeah i'm just very happy with this collection room at the moment you'll probably buy a shelf right here and um put a small little table where we can put some of the boxes in i think that will be nice as well so stay tuned for more videos yeah um yeah thanks for watching this i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye